even though we're starting this challenge with one of the most powerful weapons in the game, the Twisted Bow, it's only really good in a certain amount of places, it's very niche. That's why in Act 1 I want to try and get the Toxic Blowpipe, the Abyssal Whip and the Trident of the Seas. Those three weapons are really good in their combat style. Once we have those three weapons, we can basically kill every boss or monster in the game. Then in Act 2, uh, we will take on the Barrows minigame. I will be looking for a tank play buddy and a tank play legs mainly, so we can take less damage in bossing. While hunting these items, I hope to get lucky on the Aram's top and bottom. We should have a pretty decent chance at receiving at least one of those pieces, because I want to stay at Barrows quite a long time to get enough Chaos Runes for Zenai Jewelry or Onyx Jewelry. You can sell uh, Chaos Runes in, in the Tsar city for Tokul and then buy an Onyx that way. Once we have the tank body and leg, we will try and kill the Dagoth Kings for their beautiful and very useful rings. Act 3 is where the difficulty gets stepped up quite a bit. We are going to camp a 95 Slayer acquired boss called the Chemical Hydra for its claw to make the Dragon Hunter Lance. While we're getting the lands uh, from Hydra, we should be able to collect all three pieces required to create the Brimstone Ring, which will be the main ring we'll use for Chambers of Zarek. And now the scariest grind for all Iron Man trying to start Chambers of Zarek. The Dragon Warhammer. This beautiful weapon has a drop rate of 1 in 5,000 from Lizardman Shamans. It is used to lower the defense of the monsters found inside the chambers. Lastly, we will finish Act 3 with the completion of the Zenite Jewelry, which means we will have to kill the Mono Gorillas for Boar Zenites. The Zenite drop rate is 1 in 300, so we are looking at 1200 kills to finish this goal. Now this is the general plan, but along the way we deviate from the path and we are surprised with quite a few drops I did not expect to get, so let's get into it. As you can see, the bank is pretty much empty. All I have is untradeables and some sentimental items like a DFS that I got from Forecast that I don't want to get rid of. And I also kept the master clue items that I need to complete them. And that's pretty much it. To do anything in this game, you need a blowpipe pretty much. So let's go kill Zora, shall we? We're starting the Zora grind at 21.57. Um, Zora is pretty annoying actually without a suffering, so I'm gonna test my luck at the Demonic Gorillas and see if we can get the Senai to make ourselves a Ring of Suffering. I'll show you the gear in a second. Alright, here it is. Arclight Tebow as main weapons. Pretty basic. Here we go, first unique, Ballista Limbs. Aside from the PVM series, I'm also going to be working on Maxcape, so I'm going to put a few levels here and there into the videos. I hope you guys don't mind. Yo, I was not ready for this, I just woke up, but here we have it, the first Genite Shard. Um, I'm pretty sure that's like 60 kills total, didn't go dry at all. That's the suffering for Zora, let's go! I found 244,000 Tokkel in my bank and we need 260,000 to buy an Onyx, so I'll just spend my cash on Chaos Runes and buy it real quick. 260,000. That's enough to buy an Onyx. Let's go do that. Here we go, first time buying an Onyx with Tokkel. I feel like such an Iron Man right now. What? You don't have enough tackle? What do you mean? What? Be right back. Apparently you have to have your Karamja gloves in your inventory. No? What am I doing wrong? I'm so confused. Oh, you just have to equip them. Okay, we got it. Let's go. This is going to make Zora so much more relaxing. Wait, I should probably cut it first. Furnace. Make the ring. And enchant it. There we go. Ring of Suffering. I'm also going to imbue it at Nightmare Zone. 
Imbuing rings pretty much doubles its power. We have 10 in defense, 2 in prayer, and after imbuing it, we have 20 in defense and 4 in prayer. But still, the main reason I wanted this ring is so I don't have to equip new rings of recall when they break. Right now I have almost 4,000 recall charges and I don't have to worry about that. First elite clue scroll. I'm um, sorry if you can hear the fan. I'm probably going to turn this into a master clue because that's, that's my favorite clue scroll to complete. But yeah, let's see what we get from our master clue. Absolutely nothing. Oh boy, first unique. This is actually a pretty useless one because I don't even have a trident yet, but I'll take it. Magic Fang, 22.57. Master Clue, 160. Let's not talk about that. One thing I like about Zora, Zora is that it gives a lot of elite clues, and I always turn them into Master, so here's another one. And it's shit again. God damn it. I was really hoping to not get a duplicate. I would love to get a blowpipe or, or even an onyx to make a fury, but... Oh well, I'll take it. Yes, 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 yes. I have a blowpipe now. Oh man. This is such good news. I think I'm gonna take a little break from Zora and use this thing because it is so overpowered. People would argue that the blowpipe is more, po more powerful than a twisted bow and I completely agree, it is so powerful. Thank god. This is the best thing about trying to get your own items. It feels so good getting a blowpipe. It's only 3.5 mil but getting your own blowpipe is so satisfying. Here we go. Toxic blowpipe. So here's the loot of my little Zora grind. I'm gonna keep the scales and the runes because I'll need it for my blowpipe. I might sell a few law runes. I don't know yet. And this is most of the loot. 30 mil without the uniques and with the uniques 40 mil. Wow, that's surprisingly a lot of money. God damn. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know what I need money for. I spent some money on a cannon and cannonballs and filling out a blowpipe and we're gonna try and get a black mask for a slayer helmet. Um, um, one, two, three, four, five, six kills. It took me six kills to get a black mask. Um, look, I've only loaded my cannon once. What? This is so lucky. Oh, wow. And here it is. We got ourselves a Black Slayer mask. I actually have a Abyssal Demon Slayer task, so I'm gonna try and get a whip now. I've done half this task with a normal Slayer helmet. I completely forgot that you need to imbue it for the Slayer bonus to work. I'm not the smartest guy, but here we go. Now we can continue our task. I got a Cerberus task after my uh, Abyssal Demon task. Sadly we did not get a whip, but this is the setup I'm going with. I've done a few trips, seems to be working pretty well, but man do I miss my Spectral. Like look at the insane amount of prayer potions I need to bring. The Spectral was almost half that. I really miss that shield. Oh well, we'll get through it. Damn, I forgot to record. No, I'm not. Oh, I almost died trying to record this. <laughs> the Gaijin Crystal. Oh, if we died, it would not have been bad because this is like 100k, whatever. Still, this is nice to get. I, I have not gotten Ranger Boot yet, but this is nice. The only drops from Cerberus for the collection log I still need are the Pet and the Primordials. And I got a shield left half and a Bagasian Crystal really close together. I feel that could have been at least one of the two. I looked on the wiki and the, the shield left half is like 1 in 11,000 drop rate, so... Since we got the Bagasian Crystal, I'm going to buy 
a lot of eclectic to try and get myself the ranger boots to make the pigation boots now there is no rule in this series that stops me from buying the ranger boots and combining it but i just enjoy getting my own items and i think it's more fun also for the series but if i really wanted to i could buy an item the main focus of the series is completing the collection lock or completing as many items in the collection lock as possible bro i'm I'm getting all the drops I already have on the collection log. What is this? I want the other red crystal, man, not this one. Smoldering Throne. 2480, KC. Dude, look at my Cerberus collection log. I started with two in every crystal except Primordial. So naturally I thought, okay, the next crystal I'm gonna get is Primordial. But no, I get a third Pegasian a third smoldering stone i swear if i get a third eternal before i get a vacation i'm not going to be happy another method clue oh samurai casa cool 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 that's a unique this is perfect if there's one boss where the tebow is really good at it's Ziliana. let's do the full 35 Yo, what? I I put on my recorder because I wanted to record the entire trip, and the the moment I put on my recorder, I get a Sardomans light. I think I don't have that on my collection lock, so this is I'm I'm really happy. Uh. Um. For some reason, I thought I was gonna be gonna go really dry on the Saradome and Hill because in this KC 669, this is my third hilt. I was thinking I would need to get 2,000 KC to get another one. And what? I'm, I'm gonna try and, and get you the picture of my last hilt. I swear I was like 50 kills ago. I'm speechless. The rune sword. I don't care. I don't care we got a rune sword. We got the Sarah Hill anyway. You can give me as many rune swords as you want. Look at this. We unlocked the light and the hilt this trip. We got the blades so we can make ourselves a Sardom God Sword. Here we go. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. <sighs> this has some so much emotional value now like it feels so much better than this than buying it on the g even though i got so lucky like extremely lucky what a beautiful sight a whip on the floor look at the gear i'm using <laughs> this is gonna be such a nice upgrade absolute whip achieved we're looking beast Another whip. Beautiful. Just spend a million hours for a five second clip. 97 rune crafting. The Fort of Fort of or whatever dungeon came out today. And uh, I'm trying to get these pages to fill up the books. And guess what? <laughs> I get a zombie champion scroll from these undead druids. A champion scroll falls to the ground as you slay your opponent. 98 room crafting. I had two brimstone keys. I decided to open them without recording because the chance of getting a unique is one in a thousand So I really thought I wouldn't get a unique, but we got the mystic row bottom dusk 98 crafting 94 hunter, but I missed the level up message and 95 hunter here we have level 98 hunter coming up. I did miss level 96 and 97, my bad. You have no idea how long I've been looking for a cave kraken task. We don't, we get less than 100 though, so not really a big chance to get a try. The most fun part about this challenge is you get into situations like this. Look at my gear. I'm actually glad I got the mystic girl bottom dust, cause at least I look a little bit decent now. 
Last chance. I guess we'll have to grind for another cave kraken task. Unlucky. This task didn't take that long, so I have a feeling we're gonna get to try it on this one. I am so happy. Uncharged Trident. It doesn't show in the chat, so I could have cheated, but this is my second task. I got 12 left. Got three brimstone keys in total, or two. Yeah, I didn't cheat. I swear. After like 400 Kraken kills, we finally get it. Most OP weapon. Actually, we can upgrade. No. My, um, my fang is in the bank. Let's upgrade it real quick. So... Here we go. Oh, uncharged.sick trident. What an upgrade. What an upgrade. And with the completion of the trident, we actually got all the basic weapons we set out to complete for part one. We got the trident, we got the whip, and the blowpipe. While we set out to achieve these weapons we also got so lucky on so many other bosses we killed on slave tasks such as Cerberus we got two crystals we got a Sardomin slave task we got the SGS and the Sardomin's light and we got us ourselves the Zenite to make Sora easier. My next goal is to get all the rings from the Dagonoth Kings and imbue them but before I can do that I will probably need some tank armor and since torso and the dragon plate skirt is my best tank armor that's not gonna cut it. That's why we're at Barrows. Hopefully we get lucky. Also apart from tank armor I could also use the Aram's pieces because I would really like some better mage gear other than mystic. I hate using mystic. <gasps> Double item? This is like my fifth chest or something. <laughs> okay, that's a tank body, that's good. And Carol's skirt. I'm not complaining, that is so, so nice. First Barrows item is a double chest. Unbelievable. Delete from Barrows into a master. A, a second Ale of the Gods. Oh, it's it has good value, but sadly I already have that one in my collection log. I can't complain though two mil just like that as you can see i have been charging a lot of glories i've charged over thirty thousand right now start with 14 million cash tag now i'm at 35 million cash tag all from charging glories um, my goal was to get the eternal glory but i've not gotten it you don't know how long this took me i have charged over 50,000 glories. Here it is. Amulet of Eternal Glory. The power of the fountain is transferred into the Amulet of Glory. <laughs> Sorry for my freak out in the clan chat. I'll... Dude, I've been doing this for way too long. <sighs> I'm so happy. Spam clicking it. You have received one Amulet of Eternal Glory. Here are the numbers. I started this grind with 14 million cash. And I ended it with just about 50 million, which means I made 36 million gold profit in just charging the glories. I think I've averaged around 800 coins profit each glory, looking at the G numbers. So 36 million divided by 800 means I've charged just about 45,000 glories since I started with the 14 million I had, but I have charged glories in the past, so I am pretty confident in saying that I've charged over 50,000 glories. We got a DHX. Three chests later, we get a Gusson's War Spear. This, oh my God, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Carol, stop. <gasps> It's always so nice to see this item. Two mil. I'm so lucky right now. I'm getting so many items. I don't know what's going on. So I turned into a master. Let's see what we get. I get so many items. Ferox Flail, another weapon. Um, back to back? Gutton's Helm? 
Master clue from barrels. Another master clue. Second armed rock skirt. Another master clue from barrels. Oh, ancient blessing. Barrels. Wow. Chest number 500. Oh, another master clue. Let's see, this is number 170. No unique. I messed up the audio for this clip, but I got a champion scroll from doing barrel, so that's a win. Ferox flail. And we got another flail. Boys, 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 boys. Just woke up, did my first barrel's chest, and I get the best barrel's chest in life. I get an Aram's top and an elite clue. If you're wondering why that's amazing, first of all, Aram's is 2 mil, plus we have 2 skirts, that means we actually have decent magic armor. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. Honestly, this is amazing. It's the beautiful elite we got with the Aram's roped up. Well, I turned it into a master. We are definitely getting more elites from Barrows than actual items. Here's master number 172. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. Tank legs, boys. <laughs> tank legs. It's not the best tank legs, but it, it's definitely an upgrade over Dragon. I'm gonna check that right now. What are the defense increases? Show me. Oh. I guess the range defense is like 20 more than Dragon on Gusson, so that, that'll help for for um, Bandos for sure. Um, the one good thing about this tank leg grind taking so long is that we got a ton of runes, so many master clues as you've seen, and we completed the like Carol's top and bottom and Aram's top and bottom, which are really useful for PPM. So overall, I'm probably gonna go back for some more tankier legs in the future, but for now this'll do, and I'm really happy about this grind. 95 mining. I want to go back to Barrows to potentially complete the Gusson set and get some better tank legs. Wow. First chest we get a Derox Helm. Another master clue from Barrows. Come on. And I'm doing Barrows on this account and I got a Varex Helm. I think that's a duplicate for my collection lock, but first one for this series, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, an awesome tank body. Torex. I would have loved that being the legs though, but can't complain. Yet another master clue from Barrows. <laughs> oh, casket from another master. <gasps> Anguish ornament kit That I guess we'll have to get an anguish now All right, that is exciting When we get our anguish We'll have an ornament kit for it a ballista spring We are so lucky. I don't know if I can show you that uh, I probably fucked up I was trying to show you my loot bag. I, we've killed 108 gorillas and we got it, 108. And the one for the suffering only took me like 40 kills. So in total, 140 kills this series and we are at two Zenites. Since I have not received an onyx drop from any monster, I don't wanna buy it from the GE. So we're gonna be selling the chaos runes we got from Barrows Use it on the furnace. Zenite necklace. Boom. Enchanted. And then the whole reason why we got a necklace in the first place. The ornament kit. There we go. <laughs> that was a fun little adventure, honestly. 
Clues Cross is not really a priority on this series, except for Master Clues. So I am deciding to buy the Ranger Boots. This is the money I made with Eternal Glory. Here we go. Ranger Boots. From some random guy. But doesn't matter because we got our own Pigation Crystal on it. So it makes me happy and that's all that matters. Perfect timing on those range upgrades because we got an Armadil task, so let's go test our luck at Armadil God Wars. Holy shit. I did not expect this. What? Armadil chestplate. Wow. That is beautiful, honestly. <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear all the fans. You can probably hear them in all the clips. Uh, it's way too hot. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm not... I'm not joking. This... This is the best arm build task I've ever had. Um... Ch <laughs> we get the chest plate on 1820 and the chain skirt on 1823. I... I don't... <sighs> what? Why? Why? Oh my god, I, I'm I'm so happy as well, right? Like, this is insane. I'm, I'm gonna love using this armor. <sighs> right, so my in-game name is Kree, and I get the two best drops from Kree in three kills. Let's just say I have connections with Armadale, okay? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. We got something. Uh, this guy says two mil, thanks. Well, another armor seed, two out of six. One. 100 KC. So far, we've gotten two seeds, two armor seeds. Can we get something else? No, we can't. We got two master clues from 100 gauntlets. Let's see what we get. Alright, that's pretty average. Two average clues, but I guess we do unlock the unholy blessing on the collection log. Not bad. We got two more masters from Gauntlet. Average. Oh my god. A third Earl of the Gods and a new unique Hood of Darkness. Wait, let me show you. Clues, master, third. <laughs> All right. Since we got our tank legs, tank body and tank helmet, we can head out to DK's to fill in some ring slots. First ring. Is that a ring? Actually, no, that wasn't the first thing. We got a ring of life. But uh, we're 147 kills in. Actually, 148. Nice, one out of four. Master Clue! Turns out to be a mimic. <gasps> Let's see what extra rewards we get. It gave us 500 extra bloods. Nice. Way. Second ring is a duplicate. Um, I think we're like 230 total kills in right now with a berserker ring. I mean, I can't complain. It's a berserker ring. It's three mil. But I technically don't need that. Mud battle staff. Oh yeah. Second ring. Sears ring. I have a Kraken task. Try to spot what's wrong with this gear. The Mystic Boots. This is such a shame. I think I'm going to have to go to Mage Training Arena and get the Affinity Boots because this is pathetic. That was easy. Yay. First unique from the boss. Kraken Tentacle on the collection log. 
I might as well add <coughs> the tentacle on my extra whip. I like having a lot of tentacles. Another fun thing just happened. I got 50 million hit points XP. That's pretty cool. This was a task I was after, Hyras. Um, as you can see, I pretty much have max gear for it, except one thing. I need to get an archer's ring from the case. But after we get that archer's ring, we are pretty much done with phase two and we can start um, grinding items for raids, which includes the dragon warhammer, the lance, and the brimstone ring, I think. There's probably some other item, but you'll see a list right now. Well, I keep getting berserker rings. I'm not complaining, they're a nice chunk of cash. But I think that's four berserker rings on my collection log now, three seers rings, zero warriors, and zero archers. Um, we got it, we got it, we got Wait, let me turn off my fan so you can hear me properly. So um, this is, this is kind of huge. We got the archer ring, which means we're kind of done with DKs because the warrior ring is not really necessary for PVM right now. This archer ring means we're, we have a best in slot gear for Hydra and I do have a Hydra task. So this is very exciting. To get the three most important rings, the Archer, the Berserker and the Sears, it took me 430 Dagnoth Kings and we got two spare rings and I'm lucky enough to have the one of the most expensive rings as spare rings. So. First, first unique, Hydra's Eye? I think that's the first piece of the, the ring. No fucking way, no fucking way, no fucking way. I just got the... Claw on two hundred and four. Why do I get everything so quickly? Nothing feels like a grind. Well, I still need to get the ring. Oh wow! I am, I am so happy. Oh, I need to go to Zami to get a spear. What? I am so lucky. <laughs> So I'm so happy to get the draw, but I'm so not proud of the kill counts I get them at. Oh well, that that just made my week. That made my month. Let's go. Let's get this Zami spear, shall we? We're looking a beast. Um, okay, this is pretty scuffed. I'm playing on two accounts at once. I don't know what you can see. I got a Steam Battle Staff on my main. Same drop rate as uh, the spear. Well, well, well. <laughs> the luck continues. Something's hiding underneath my alt. And it looks like a Zamrak hill. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. I don't know what that's used for. I guess um, a master clue? Cool. I, I want the spear though. Jagex, thank you. Yeah, I still haven't changed the uh, scuffed recording I do with two accounts. I don't care. Um, you can see it probably, right? I got a shard too. This is literally <clears throat> the first kill of the day. I stopped yesterday at 484. I do about four 50 kills a day. First kill of the day, I get the Zemi Spear. If I knew that yesterday, <laughs> I would have totally done one more kill. I don't know if it works that way, but... Also... I did a lot of Zami to get this. I definitely went over drop rate and I did all of it without a Slayer task, so pretty cool. I'm glad I have it. We can make the uh, lands now. Alright, I, th I think I just got extremely lucky again. I got a Crystal Tool Seed on 16kc. Um, this guy, right, wait, where is he? This guy right here says he's almost 1000kc and didn't have a seed, so... <laughs> I'm thinking I'm, I better be happy about this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for, but Crystal Tool Seed, that's ticked off the collection lock. First things first, we did get enough shards from uh, to make a second blade. So that's what we're doing now, since we got a Zami Hill anyway from the boss before we got a spear. Here's that, Zamrak and Godsort from scratch. <laughs> All right, let's uh, combine the claw with the Ah, Hasta. Alright, Otto. I heard stories. You can make my my Hasta for 300k. Is it true? Wait, did he say 150? 
Oh, it is 150. Oh, I looked on the wiki and it says 300. Maybe because I did the, the achievement diary or something. I don't know. All right, let's get a good angle. This is the first time I'm making this in my entire life. Combine has. Are you sure you want to combine the claw? Yep. Proceed with the alchemical combination. Oh, wow. This, <laughs> this weapon is beautiful. Oh, this is going to help so much for raids. One. We're gonna destroy Ulm Hand with this. And we have a Tebow. We're gonna get all the points. Making a little announcement that I will be starting the Dragon Warhammer grind. Hopefully soon I'll have the clip of me getting a Dragon Warhammer. Look forward to that. Is that something? Hydra Tail? I think it is. Hey, nice. Uh, this master is from Gauntlet. Alright, let's go kill some more shamans. Wait, what the hell? 98 mining? Damn! I guess now I just have agility left to get 98 all. That's uh, that came out of nowhere. Hey, that's one of the items we need for raids. And so many other things. Bastion slot amulet for magic. Occult necklace. It's uh... Almost 900k, damn, that went up a bit. Hey, they changed how a Master Cult looks. Uh, this one's from the Smoke Devils that gave me the occult. Can you give me an occult ornament kit? No! I got this Master Clue from Shamans. Wow, that. Ew. Wow. Wow. That was really quick, actually. Less than 2000 KC for sure. I mean, I think even close to 1k KC. Let's go, let's go check. I, I'm really happy. I expected to scream when I saw it, but actually... Oh, okay. I think I said I was I started like, like at 1100, so I, it took 1000 kills to get his Warhammer. I swear, this series... I've gotten lucky on everything. Maybe not the glory, the eternal glory, but holy... Dragon Warhammer? Already? I was really dreading this grind, and I was ready to go dry, but hey, I mean, I keep getting rewarded. Holy, we can do raids now. We, we got the, the last two items we needed in one day. We got the occult and the Warhammer. In one day, we can do raids. <laughs> My raid setup is looking really funny. There's a few upgrades I still want to get though. I could start raiding and I could start going for some items, but meanwhile I could also be working on um, a few upgrades if I don't feel like doing raids. The upgrades are a torture, a tormented bracelet and the brimstone ring. So basically jewelry. I need to upgrade my jewelry. And then, um, then I'll be really happy with my setup I guess. Could get a BCP. But not, that's not really necessary. I'll, I'll go do Bandos this series though. I, I do want Bandos before I end the movie, but for, uh, for now, I'm really happy with this. Really happy with this. Really, really happy. Today is my lucky day. I just finished Gotham's and this is a mill? Wow. That's uh, my first barrel set completed. I was actually here to try and get some tank legs, but now that I have Guthans and a Warhammer, I should probably go get Tacits. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I'll, I'll go get Tacits instead. Thank you, Barrows. Uh, I don't know what you can see, but this is literally the luckiest day ever. I got so much shit today. I mean, I can't say that. So much beep today. I got Tacits, Warhammer, Occult. I completed full Gothans, like... <sighs> Jagex, why, why are you so nice to me? <sighs> oh wait, my mic is really far away, I'm so I really messed this up, you probably... Th this looks... this screen capture probably looks really bad, you probably can't even hear me, but... I got tacits, it's my lucky day, I, I don't know what to say... <sighs> Damn it dude, I'm so happy. I probably said in every clip that I'm so happy, but I'm literally so happy. 
Everything is coming to me so fast. I'm gonna complete the game in, in one summer. Watch me do it. Third master of the day. Um, I don't think we can ask for much. We got a Warhammer already. We got Tacit. We got the Occult. We finished Guthans. And... Oh my... A Defender Ornament Kit as well. <laughs> I should buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm gonna put that on my Dragon Defender because it looks great. Boom. There's one thing I forgot to do when I got the Occult. I have unlocked the Occult Ornament Kit on the Collection Lock, so... I just bought a new one. Just to make this look way better. Like, this makes the occult look so good. Superior Creatures, 64 Superior Creatures. My very first unique from them. Since it doesn't show in the chat, because it has really low value, um, I kind of have to show it right here that I got it. That's Battle Staff. Let's go! That's the second piece of the ring, I believe. The Fang. Now we got the heart and... No, we got the eye and the fang, just the heart to go. Yeah, boys! We got the ring! Wait, you can hardly see it. Heart. There it is. Oh, man. I didn't think I would get it so quickly. Oh, my drop lock. Drop lock is insane. Alright, let's make this ring. I don't even know how you do it. Okay. Yeah. Proceed. <gasps> oh, it has an animation. Look at this Hydra luck though. I got all its useful drops without any duplicates in 356 kills. That is insane. So we back here at the Demonogorillus to get the Torture and the Tormented Bracelet. And I just got drag um, Ballista Limb. The Monogorils were so nice to give me this Elite to make a Master instead of a Zenite. Let's see what I get. Whoa, so many items, but nothing good. We have two Master Clues again. I was trying to get a Heart Clue from Scotizo to get uh, to make a Master from the Elite I got from the Gorillas. And it gave me another Elite, so decided to do two Masters. Let's see what we get. Okay, pretty average. And another pretty average. Hmm. Alright. So I got my first two Zenites in like 150 kills. Looking at the tracker, I did 83 kills today. So, um, I'm not even at the rate for one Zenite, and I've got three. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm really, really low <laughs> on. Cos uh, Chaos Runes now, but we can buy an Onyx. Here it is, third time in this series. Zenite Amulet, and we enchant it, and we have a Torture. And the luck continues. Let's not die here while we look at this beautiful thing. Okay, my counter says I've killed 237 total today. So yeah, um, I think I killed about a total of 400 demonics to get four <laughs> zenites averaging about a hundred demonics for a zenite that is yeah i mean I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody hates me right now this is so satisfying for me bringing a new onyx into the game Ooh. Oh, this is amazing i say the word amazing a lot but it, it literally amazes me. Oh my god, I got a purple. I got a purple. And I don't have anything unlocked from collection lock, so anything I get right now is amazing. Oh, okay. Twisted Buckler. I'm like, glad I didn't see that in the chat because I'm I might have gotten trolled. Twisted bu Buckler. I just had the Dragon Defender step, and I uh, just want to confirm it works if you have the ornament kit on it. Here we are. Both of these masters are from raids. 
first one pretty average, and the second one, a hood of darkness. Please let that be unique. Clues, master. <gasps> I just missed level ninety four agility. Here it comes. Yes. Well, nice. That's uh, 95 agility. And here's 96 as well. 80. 97, I mean. <laughs> Other than a random raid, and it turns out it was kill count 900. That looks kind of good. I was just standing here still and thinking a bit about Chambers of Zarek, because that's also a grind skill to do. I need to max to be in Chambers of Zarek, and I was thinking, I'm probably gonna use these items for Chamber of Zarek as well, so I am probably lifting my whatever it's called, like you're not allowed to buy the item until you get it from the collection lock rule, except clue scroll items, they don't count, that's for a separate video, but yeah, I think I'm lifting it and I'm gonna focus on max and hopefully get a few items from TUB and Chamber of Zarek. I've had fun with the restrictions and rebuilding the gear from just a Tebow, it, it was amazing. But we reached TUB and Chamber of Zarek with the gear we had and it was working, but as a main I have the option to buy items and I did and I'm gonna enjoy doing them in almost max gear, which I've never done. This is the first time ever using Scythe, so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. And I think that's important. I was cleaning out my loot tab with all the herbs and stuff. It's layer loot, and I had 10 brimstone keys, so good time to open them. Some rubies. I think this is about, there should be about 1 mil in loot. We can check afterwards if that's true. Doesn't look like it's true right now, though. Wow, that's terrible. Okay, 600k from 10 keys. Oh, wh what? I was moving, no. Why didn't I get the level when I went down? Okay, well, here it is. <laughs> I was planning to wait here and prepare a speech, but 98 all that's it that's 2262 is my last total level i'll have until max pretty cool this is the very first item i see from someone else i don't know what my starting kc was like 870 80 something first drop someone else got in 40 rates ish That's a back-to-back -back into the other mall, so the items are finally showing themselves. Hopefully one of the next ones is for me, because I'm greedy. Here we are again, two master clues from Chamber of Zarek. Someone left Discord, that's a Zami page, 500k, and ooh, a unique jungle demon mask. Yay! I'm just gonna double check if that's actually unique, because I've gotten it before, but not since... They added this collection lock, I think. Happy days. Oh, wow. I got an item. Yo, why do I prioritize typing to these guys while I should talk to you guys? I got a dense bulwark. That's my second item from Raids, Collection Lock, uh, 928. Pog. Oh no, I used Twitch emote. Okay, delete the clip. Well, let's open a master clue in 56 Wilderness. By the way, don't look at my KD, that's, um, that's from Dying and Reps, okay? I'm, I'm not terrible.
Yes, I am. And that reward is terrible. It fits me perfectly. I'm here with another master clue. Nothing. Um, I got a Hydra's tail like two kills ago, forgot to record it. I think it's a duplicate. We'll check when we're at the bank. And I died. <laughs> yep, two Hydra tails. First duplicate. That looks kind of nice. 400k C at Hydra. Nothing to be proud of, but it looks nice. Uh, this was a surprise. I, I just felt like testing out the scythe had bandos and... I mean, how many kills is that after it's it? It's like, not that many. I would say like 10 kills or something? I have to go check. Wow, I'm lucky at Armado and Bandos for the armor. This makes our Bandos collection lock look pretty good. Pet and the armor. It's not very exciting going to Bandos hunting for the boots or the health, but it will be done. I was casually mining the two sandstone to granite rocks when I thought I got a pet, but instead it was your infernal pickaxe has run out of charges. Which is the first time this has happened, because I did most of my mining XP at mud load, and, that's, and it doesn't trigger this pickaxe, so you just use another pickaxe on it or a smoldering stone, and since the smoldering stone is way cheaper, oh you get XP from it, there you go, fresh infernal pickaxe. I'll only need it for like a little bit more XP and then it'll sit in my bank forever, but whatever. We got the smoldering storm from Cerberus anyway. Dude. <laughs> Sorry for all the noise. I just got something epic. Whoa. What? I got the Tangle Root. Uh, from a magic tree? I'm 200 XP away from 99. By the way, all my skills are like sub 100k, except agility, and farming. So this is, I was kind of giving up on getting scaling pets, to be honest, because there was not much chance to get them, but I, I mean, that that's epic, get, getting it this close to 99? <laughs> wow. Now that I have you here, I should probably um, explain what, uh, what my plan is to get all these skills uh, done. Um, before I start agility, I want to get all skills to like 3 or 2k away. And then I have, the way I show you, I'll, I have a lot of fossils stored up. Where are they? Here they are, a lot of fossils. So I'm thinking, once I start agility, I am not leaving the course. So I get all my skills to 2k away from a level, get all these lamps from the fossil island exhibit thing, start agility, and hopefully by the time I'm done with agility, I'll have gotten like 4 GD randoms or something, and then I should have enough to get all 15 of the non-skill skills a lamp to level up, and then we'll get all our lamps together, go to the Armadale God Wars room, and just complete them one by one. Sounds like a good plan to me. But yeah, the reason I made this clip, Tangle Root, pff, that's sick. I need to go insure this right now. Right, we just insured it. Check. Oh, I need to reclaim bandos. How many pets do I have? One, two, three, four, seven, nine. Nine pets. I'm so cool. Final thing we need to do before maxing, all the skills are like enough XP away to get the lamps from the exhibit. I saved up some books and some lamps. 
I got nine smalls stored up, four mediums, two large, one plant. There it is, 15. Good thing I kept the lamp and the book. That's all the 15 skills I need. Now all we need to do is run left in RD and max. Your eyes do not deceive you. I just got a second agility pet at 640k away till 99. So that's two pets at 98. People giving up at 98 for getting a pet. Don't give up. You can still get it. That's my second pet in one week. Tangle root and now a duplicate agility pet. Lamp, agility. I hate agility so much, I'm so glad it's over. Yay! 99 agility! I hate 99 agility. I hate agility. That was the worst. Agility was absolutely the worst. A lot. Wait, okay, next one. And you stop trailing off. Um, the book on crafting. Crafting. Yay! <laughs> More grads! Boost my ego! Yes! Strength, haha, ha. mining. Okay, mining. There it is. Funny thing about mining. Um, I did mother load for like all my levels except the very last level. Level 98 to 99, I did 3 tick, 2 sandstone, 2 granite. And uh, I think my heart, my hand is like broken. I, I hated it so much. Quickly! Quickly, you have 20 seconds, say a skill. Room crafting, oh, all the good ones out of the way first, okay. There it goes. Room crafting. Wow, that looks good, that looks great. I never thought I would get 9 on room crafting. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, it hit me for a five. Do fletch, we're gonna do fletching. Nobody cares about fletching, it's so easy. Yay, die die fletching. We're gonna we're gonna be a kick on it and we're gonna get farming. Because of the guy in the chat. I haze, this one's for you man. Kekona. Farming. Fire making. <laughs> All right. Oh, TJ has been wanting wood cutting, so you know what? No, we're gonna do it next skill. But fire making first. Wow. Give me all the grats for 99 fire making. Mm. Okay, TJ, this is for you, man. The wood cutting you've been wanting. Where is it? Real lumberjack. <laughs> Yay. Okay, what's next? Construction next? Okay, Silas. Okay. Construction next. You know, this is gonna be so great. Never have to use house teleports anymore. This one, construction and crafting, are gonna be really useful. Fishing. Do I have fishing? Okay, Tom. Fishing. Uh, where is it? Fishing. Nice. Now you know fishing. Grats, all the colors. By the way, we need to think about this. Which is gonna be my last skill until I max? Like, it needs to be a special skill, right? What do we have left? Hunter? Wait, we're gonna get, yes, cooking. We are gonna max on cooking. Stay till max, yes, you're right. I need to max inside our mill room. Um, well, let's do thieving. Fuck thieving. Should we do thieving? No! No! No, I fucked it up! 
I clicked on agility. I, I don't have enough lamps to max now in here. Bakko is coming back, so we just need to stay alive until Bakko comes back. That's right! Bakko! Bakko is coming back. Bring some, some scaling supplies. Uh, oh my god. I almost died. Um, what, what should he bring? Some wines, right? Meanwhile, let's actually get thieving now. This is thieving. Yes. Thieving. Click. Yay. Yes. Yay. 200 pop? Okay, so that means we need 10. No, we need 8, 9. We need 9. Hunter. I have Kate's at the Maniaco Monkeys. They're still grazing. Thank you, guys. Honestly. Um, Herblower. Ninety nine potion making. Woo! Okay, I guess uh, this is one one left, and then we have to wait for cooking. Which one is it? Smithing. Let's get it. Smithing. Am I correct? Yes. Dude, oh, I, I'm still so salty that I made that mistake earlier. Yay, Smithy! There he is. is! Should this be enough? Yes. Anyway, hopefully I don't fuck this up. <sighs> Let's sit back. I'm gonna pause the music. Is it like... Oh my god, I don't know. Oh, there it is! I am done to finally play the game. Okay, boys. The recording is at 40 minutes. If I want my computer to crash, I should stay longer, but I don't want that, so... Let's get the cape, yes? The... Hello, man. This man glances at you and grunts something unintelligibly... What do you have in your sack? This is my cape. Can I have it? Thank you for welcoming me to Virgin Island. Can I have it? Maybe. I'm sure I could make it worth your while. How much? That's 1k for every level. Wait, yes? Yes, it's 1k for every level. <laughs> to be honest, that's cheap. Uh, Mac grunts and hands over escape. Wow. Oh my god. It just hit me. I did it. I'm maxed. Spoilers? Oh my god. I'm maxed. I'm gonna miss you, Infernal Cape. But I will get you a, I, I will get you back. I promise. Boom. The ultimate flex cape. Looks pretty good to be honest. Maybe it was only odd. Oh, the hood sucks though. <laughs> you have made it to the end of my movie. Thank you so much for watching. There's just a few things I want to say. This is my very first YouTube project and I feel like I already made progress towards the end recording stuff, but it will 
still get better. But yeah, I'll definitely make sure my next projects are a little bit better. I mean, it is good, but it, it's not perfect. <laughs> definitely not perfect, so. And hopefully you guys join me on my journey from being absolutely terrible at recording and editing to being somewhat decent. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you are too.